Hello dear folks, uh, today it is uh, 2012, May, June, paper 4-2 and the question number is 9. It is again concerned with the chapter electronics. So the first uh, uh, question number is, is says that an uh, operational amplifier OPM may be used as part of the processing unit in an electronic sensor. State four properties of an ideal operational amplifier. So we have uh, so many properties, you can enlist any four. So one of them is uh, the open loop gain open loop gain uh, it's equal to infinite it means the gain without any feedback so you can have uh, the input impedance z in is equal to infinite you can have uh, the output impedance z out is equal to zero and you can have uh, the bandwidth so you can have uh, the bandwidth is equal to infinity and you can also have uh, another slew rate which is again infinity so lots of properties there uh, you can enlist any four now our main focus is uh, on the other part so in number b a comparator circuit incorporating an ideal opm is shown in figure 9.1 so this circuit is used for voltage comparison uh, it has got uh, uh, v in here v in uh, this uh, uh, it, at the uh, inverting input terminal in the at the non-inverting input terminal it is simply grounded so that uh, there is no voltage there zero volt actually and we have power supplies of uh, plus 5 and minus 5 volt so it, the given uh, condition is that um, the variation with time t of the input potential v in is as shown so it is sinusoidal uh, the shape looks like that so it varies from 0 to 2 volt 2 volt then to minus 2 volt again 2 volt and so on now uh, on the axis of 9.2 on its axis we have to draw a graph to show the variation in time t of the output potential v out so we have to draw the graph of output potential v out now since uh, this uh, amplifier has no feedback uh, it simply will have a maximum uh, gain of infinity so that's why the output voltage will go up to infinity which is uh, limited only by, by the power supply so uh, so we have what v in equal to uh, v in is applied to the inverting input terminal so that's why its output should be negative negative 5 so when it is positive it should be negative opposite phase so when it is positive 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 the output should be negative and 5 volt so this is minus 5 here minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 it should go till here it should go till here 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 so up to here it is minus 5 this is minus 5 and from then onwards this becomes negative so it should be positive so from there goes from there goes we'll have have, have. so this here so from here to here so here to here it will be positive 5 volt it will be it will be positive 5 volt so there's a certain jump here so the jump can be shown like this so you need to draw it with a scale with a ruler uh, I am not using ruler right now here so again it comes back like this it comes back like this back like this like this like this like this from here so it has to go to till this point here so it goes like this again it climbs up till this point so climbs up to this point like this again from here it goes up to up to up to up to up to so it is still here and then again it comes back it comes back 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 like this and again from here it will go up to here up to up to up to here so it has gone up to here so this is how the uh, output voltage varies so it, it tries to go to infinity but is limited by the power supply which is plus 5 volt or minus 5 volt now now the output potential the output potential uh, v out is to be displayed using two light emitting diodes diodes leds the short also written there a diode emitting red light is to indicate that uh, V out is positive. So we have to use a red light to indicate V out is positive, and a diode emitting green light is used to indicate when V out is negative. So 
we have to use two diodes here so that's why uh, I can extend it here I can extend it I can extend it extend it up to here so let me first draw the two diodes we will indicate the color later so this is one diode and this is another diode. since they are they are working for opposite cases they should be focusing in opposite direction facing in opposite directions so let me use the symbol properly so this is just to show the emission of light like this now what it says is v out is positive so red light should be indicate v out is positive so that means when v out is positive red light should glow when v out is positive red light should glow so that means that means at that time it this the p side should be in contact with the with the, this terminal something positive if red is to glow so so that means among this thing so this should be red this should be red it's p side when it's positive this will conduct so now we have to we have to <coughs> do the same for the other also so in this diode we have is this is n side and uh, a diode emitting green light is to be used to indicate when we are negative so when this is negative negative and this is n side so this will conduct so that means uh, uh, this thing should be the green LED so it should be green here so this is how to indicate the two things uh, red and green LEDs to according to the given condition according to the given condition so that is the complete solution to this question.